Clouvette, the artist. This is the culmination of a man's experiences, imagined in a singular medium, exploding like a kaleidoscope. And at what point does this happen, when the fascinating journey of a man's life imbues itself onto a canvas? Merton Clivet, who called himself the Great Clivet, knew that moment. He knew when to stop living life at a horse's gallop and freeze those moments in painting. The period of Clavette's relatively short lifespan divided into two distinct eras, his experiences around the world and his final renderings of that life in his art would create an indelible mark at a time when art was at a crossroads. Clavette, the adventurer. Always confident since childhood, Clavette didn't know what the hell he would become, nor did he seem to care. He lived spontaneously, traveling wherever his physical talents would take him. Art was in his life, but not a driving force. He would jump, ride, shoot, make magic, and whatever else he felt compelled to do on a whim. He traveled the country and then the world, never settling down. But it was New York that claimed him. His legacy, his life's work, would be produced here and shown in galleries throughout the city for the next two decades. His greatest adventure now was facing a blank canvas. Clavette, the Influencer. Settling in New York's Greenwich Village, Clavette aligned himself with the Ashcan School of Artists in the early 20th century. Painters who represented daily life and common themes among New York's destitute. But Clavette would soon shed that coat like a newly freed hobo. His style would grow more abstract, more expressionistic. His years in vaudeville and the circus performing great physical stunts would inform the exact way he would create brushstrokes. His images were the direct embodiment of physicality. By the late 1920s, Clavette was gaining recognition. He had several group shows and two noted solo shows, one in Paris. From that period came an influential book on modern art and finally international appreciation. It was from this that his name would be placed alongside titans of modern art. Picasso, Cezanne, Matisse, Derain, Gauguin, Van Gogh, and Clavette. <laughs>